my god. Bastards, yeah, that's right. <sighs> How's the scan going? Orly, the Almighty is inextricably bound to the harmonic resonance of the sun's magnetic flux tubes. What? If Savala blows up the Almighty, it'll take the sun with it. It's time I rejoined my fire team. Guardians worthy of the light. What is the price of such power and immortality? Devotion. Self sacrifice. Death. Death. Explain. Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. Sacrifice leads to death. So, feel free to kill yourself. Devotion. Sacrifice. I was born an outcast. A runt. As is custom with the Cabal, I was cast aside and left for dead. I was taken in by an old scholar himself disgraced who saw in me something redeemable. He raised me, taught me, trained me, and in return, I would become a vehicle for his revenge against an empire that failed him, that failed itself. Rejection, ridicule, torment, it made me stronger. I gave everything to win, not just acceptance, but glory. Beneath my mask, Sticker, is the face of devotion and sacrifice. I will not take the light by force. To do so would be to admit failure, and I never fail. Now, do you see why I will be chosen? I see now. I see all that you have done. Our operation on the Jovian Moon was a success. Once the cage is complete, we will have everything we need to begin the process of extracting the light. Dominus. Everything we've worked for is here, for the taking. All that remains is your word. No, this is not the way, old friend. But it is the way. The only way. Not for me. Sadly, in all honest reality, Gaul was not a bad guy. Gaul really wasn't a bad guy. It was all his, um, <clears throat> his, uh, his mentor who clouded his judgment.
Let's capture this lander. Capture, destroy. Either way, get it out of here. for the help, I guess, you know, literally, you're right in front of them, dude, and you're not gonna fucking help. Oh. Higher levels than I can't even fucking... Eat, man. Seriously. You know we had to override this shit, right? Fucking... Timer on it. Fucking unnecessary damage. You guys are a bunch of pussy. Or not teammates, but randoms. Damn, I'm so used to fucking. I'm. I play too many fucking strikes. I can literally call everybody a teammate now. That's the whole fucking purpose of this game, isn't it? Fucking have a team. Jesus, fuck you, overpowered bastard. Not a pussy, but for fuck's sakes, like we need people on this bitch. It's the sad part. So the boost, I guess. done is made the fucking circle a lot bigger because that's so stupid literally the only way you survive it is if you have a titan the war to dawn that's literally the only way you're gonna win this shit you have a titan who uses the war to dawn and then a hunter who uses their um shadow shot Take your lander and run. I do not think the Cabal run so much as leap. Strive for precision, assistant. Yeah, that was really fucking annoying. Fuck the Cabal, man.
So really what you're saying is, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. On the contrary, now that we are together again, we just might stand a chance. The fact is, if we destroy that weapon, we will ignite a chain reaction that could send our son into a supernova. Well, at least we have each other. Indeed. We all know what needs to be done. The Traveler must be freed. I'm thinking the three of us and a big fat pile of explosives can get the job done. Look, I still have that Vex teleporter. It's got a limited range, so we'll have to get a little too close for comfort. Then we get inside the city walls for it to be effective. But without the light, an outright assault on the wall is doomed to fail. We could... There will be no coming. It's worth it. How do we get in? You know, the city wall is kind of like this barn. Plenty of places to slip in unseen, so long as you know how. You sure you're not one of my hunters? <laughs> not really into capes. Clearly. Nice poncho. You need to get your team into the city without raising any alarms. My people and I will help you do that. We also happen to be pretty good at shooting bad guys. Hawthorne, it's one thing for us to put our lives on the line, but this doesn't have to be your fight. You're not a... A guardian? You think you've cornered the market on sacrifice? You forget that we've had to survive without the light all our lives. Once upon a time, that big white ball in the sky was there for all of us. I think it's about time we return the favor, guardians or not. That's great speech and all, but let's not forget about the whole supernova and complete annihilation thingy. If we can't destroy the Almighty, we'll have to disable its weapon. And that means getting a certain guardian on board. We'll need a good disguise if we're going to fly right through a Cabal Armada. If it's a Cabal ship you need, there's a base nearby full of them. But it won't be easy sneaking in. Well, we're done sneaking. If there's one thing I've learned from Cade, it's the value of a grand entrance. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. I mean, I know they had Cade, like, involved a lot more in in uh, Destiny than uh, than the other two, um, Zavala and Ikora, but uh, Jesus. Um... Uh, but yeah, it's just good to see Cade. Um, Get in there and you know a lot more. The others as well, just like all, all the track of time. some more dialogue Come between them all is, is really through. refreshing. It's so nice. All right, let's go see Hawthorne. Let's do. Remember that Cabal base round the uh, world? Oh, Lewis is freaking out again. Runs it, Bloodguard by the name of Thumos. We know he's got access to the Almighty. So you crash the base, steal Thumos' ship, use it to sneak aboard the Almighty, and shut it down before...